Hey guys, so this is a review of the Maxto M3. This is how it looks on the helmet, and let's get into it. So, first off, it's going to come inside of a box like this. The unit itself is going to be right here. It's going to be the first thing you see, which is a nice looking unit. I'll show you all more of it in a, a little later. Okay, so what you're going to get inside the box, you're going to get everything wrapped up all nice and plastic. You're going to get about a two to three foot USB charger. You're going to get this Velcro pad, which is going to allow you to either use this clip on mount here or this Velcro pad where if you remove this, if you remove the Velcro, oops, I don't want to remove the adhesive in case I, I want it later but okay so you're going to remove this velcro pad then remove the adhesive stick it to your helmet and then you're going to stick that onto your thing and then this device is going to be able to just slide off of there and wherever you stuck it slide it right back on now to dismount it from your device you're just going to want to you're just going to want to um Pull it away from you, pull it towards the helmet slightly. You don't need a lot of force and then slide up and it's dismounted. So I'm just going to remove this and dismount it. So let's get into, let's get into um, the buttons, the controls and everything. So this is going to be your power button. This is going to be your multifunction dial and it's also a button this is your shutter button where you're just going to take a picture this is this is also your wi-fi button and here this is your recording video and this is also going to activate your vvar which you need in order to um take a picture or video i'll get into that shortly so first we're going to go in on powering the device once you power the device, you're going to hear a voice prompt saying power on, and then it's going to tell you the um, battery, not percentage, but it's going to tell you whether the battery is high, medium, or low. Let me actually turn this off so you could um, hear it. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the helmet, that way you could hear. Okay, so you just heard it say power on, welcome, battery full, which I think is really nice because it'll let you know how your battery is doing. So, once you, so let me get a, rid of a, a little bit of this distraction. Oh, I didn't finish showing you what was in the box. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the box real quick. So, you're going to get some... You're going to get a, about four of these and what you're going to do is you're going to want to stick them where you're going to rest your, your microphone, I mean your headphones. I have mine in here, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I have mine resting right here. And that's going to, that's going to allow you to make it so these are velcroed in here headphones and they won't move around on you so they fit perfectly and I like that and you're also going to get an allen key which you're going to need if you want to mount your helmet with this um, feature and I, I recommend this because this is going to be much more secure I can imagine with um, than the velcro okay here it is Put that in the box so I don't lose it again. So you're just gonna to mount this here. You're just gonna want to tighten it. It's gonna come kind of loose. You put it in, tighten it, and it stays secure. If you want to add some extra precaution, which you don't need to do, I added um some velcro right here. So the velcro, what the velcro is gonna do is just encourage it from moving further, because it doesn't move I have no problems I've used it for a couple of days I have no fear of it getting loose or wobbly so I doubt you need to do that but just in case okay so 
let's get into features you saw me power on the device now to start playing a song all you're gonna do is tap that button and if you have a built-in music player like um, Spotify Apple music whatever it's gonna start playing so I just tapped it so now you can see that we got some juice oil playing I'll tap it again and you see that the music stopped on my phone and pay attention to the volume if I want to turn the device down I just hold it here okay I guess the music has to be playing first so the music is playing now and I want to turn the device down now you can see the device powering down I mean volume turning down and if you want to turn the volume up you just scroll it the opposite way you could do this easily with one hand um, whenever you're ready to record a video you need to turn on that Vive AR feature oh let me but before I get into that let me um get into exactly how you're gonna go about pairing your device so in order to pair your device you're gonna need it in the power off position I'm gonna go ahead and I'll forget mine just for the sake of the video okay so I forgot the M3 device okay so you're just gonna wanna hold it okay so you hold it until you hear the pairing prompt and now it says that it's pairing I see my M3 right here and just like that give it a couple minutes and it's connected boom okay now you see that it's connected I could immediately start using my features again where I want to start playing a song I want to stop playing a song everything is um going to be working immediately so now in order to get into how you want to um record a video you need to turn on the Vive AR I think it's called I'll put the camera in the helmet again just so you can hear that voice prompt what I'm gonna do is hold this for about six seconds okay I went ahead and pause that music so now you can hear let me actually do that one more time so I'm gonna turn it off okay so what you're gonna do to start recording is you wanna hold this um, button until you see the light flash green you're gonna hear a voice prompt that said something like Vive AR on and that's gonna let you know that your your um, com is ready to record but that does not mean you're recording to record a video start recording a video after you have it flashing green you're gonna wanna tap the recording button then you're going to hear a voice prompt saying start recording and now it's recording you're good to go if you want to take a picture you're going to want to tap this photo button and then you're going to hear a shutter sound that lets you know that you took a photo in order to oh something that i did find interesting so you can power off the device so it's not connected to your phone anymore you're going to see okay I just heard the prompt saying power off but you can still see that the green light is still illuminated and you can still take pictures and you're still recording even though you're saving battery by not playing music on your phone and by not um, having it connected to your phone so that's a good that's a feature that I really like let's get into the functionality so it's gonna come with a memory card slot right now I'm gonna let me turn the stop the video and I'm gonna turn that off before I remove my memory card it just um, prevent any data loss so all you're gonna do is t remove this on um, are you you're gonna have a memory card slot in here and here you're gonna have your headphone slot where after you route your headphones you're just gonna slide them in here 
boom simple as that to charge the device you're going to want to open this and here you'll be able to charge the device and that's about it i'll i'm gonna add some videos on oh um it, something about pricing when i bought this this was 119 i got the soft mic version which comes with a mic with the soft mic um it's hard to pull out and show you right now i kind of don't want to pull it out but i got the soft mic version you can get the hard mic version for the same exact price 119.99 at the time of this recording um but for two dollars more which i didn't realize you could get the hard mic and the soft mic so you'll have a backup mic if something were to happen to this wire over time and that's about it this is how it looks on this helmet i'm going to go ahead and show you some videos of it recording at night and day something i do want to say when i did the initial recording at night i was using this scorpion exo covert and it's um only dot rated and at that it's only dot rated as a half helmet so it's really loud lets in a ton of noise so that night ride you're gonna hear um probably a significant um more amount of noise than if i was using the um r20 that is um snell rated <laughs>